Hey, what is up guys? So we are going to be playing something a little bit interesting today. So uh, this is actually a Quibble Hedgehog FTK OTK, although we don't actually have the FTK this turn, but we'll probably OTK in relatively soon. So um, this is actually a deck I learned from um, Yu-Gi-Oh! for real men. He makes a lot of funny Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and this one's pretty interesting. His build's a little bit different than mine, though. Uh, he plays like Wabakus, and I'm like, no, 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 Wabakus defensive. We need more, we need more draw power. We need to be as offensive as possible. So... We're just gonna go ahead and activate a shard of green, and then um, we are going to normal summon card card D, and then we're gonna activate its effect, and then we're gonna draw more cards. Okay, there we go. Um, my field's open, but nah, who cares, right? I'll take some damage, not the end of the world, um, unless I get OTK, which, you know, is something that can technically happen. Why the heck are you summoning postural attack position? What is this? This is next level meta. All right, so he's gotta have some, some back row to it. Like, there's no way he'd just be like, let me go ahead and summon partial. <laughs> but, uh, oh, shoot, there's a, that, quite a bit of back row, man. Man, he's got that. Wow, he really needs that partial. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't special summon card card D, but, um, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and set, uh, a giant rat. Um, and I think we'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be okay. Um, uh, I can't think of anything that I'd like worry about right now. Like you can't really use Gotham's E call because I'll have to obviously control an XA reading just nothing. I think great for him, so I'm just going to end. Uh, but he wants an attack position, otherwise he. I don't know what, what was the point of. He should have said it though. There's there's really no point at all to do that. But I can go ahead and activate this. Hopefully we can start getting rid of some background. Oh, cool, another one. Is that cool, bro? That's cool, bro. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Um, I'm thinking about going for the MST. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, going for the Night Beam because I don't want to get in face Space Typhoon. Okay, oh, God, I'm sick. That's a pretty good card to get rid of. Um, definitely a, a good card to get rid of. Um, so hopefully soon, um, I might, I might just attack with this, like, why not? So he's gonna go for probably Bogger Knight. Oh, no! Oh, he's got nothing great though. He won't, he won't straight up synchro. Oh, he's going to duality. Okay. Torrential, Bogger, and Mirror Force. Don't go for Torrential, please. Okay, good. He's probably already got like so many like warning everything. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. But warning, eh, I don't think it can really hurt me too much. Um, honestly, right now, I need. What do I need? I honestly need more, um, I need another Quilbot Hedgehog is what I need, I need to get into the grave. I can get one another one into the grave pretty easy with this. I think I'm going to go ahead and I can go for like Gachi, but I, I need all my cards to actually pull it off. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and summon this. I, I just want to throw him off. He'll be like, what the heck? Okay, you're playing something totally random. He won't expect it this way. Saber hold. Good. Who saber holes that? You kidding me? Good. Like I'm glad you saber hold that card. <laughs> I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll hand lay. If he hand lays one, like that's whatever. Like I, I really don't care at that point. Um, because this card can only be used for X sabers. Or, um, I guess you could make. Is he gonna hand lay for one? Okay, you're gonna hand lay for one. Great idea. Those pro plays, those those can lay for one, so worth it. If I was playing some Yusei Fudo deck, I would totally be able to wreck him right now. <laughs> Cause that that's an awful move. You don't can lay for one card. Reinforced truth. I'd be like it's cool. Go for Crimson Blader, and I'd be like, I don't. Oh wait, well, not really. It doesn't really hurt me too much. I mean, when people summon Quick Draw, but like, who cares? <laughs> that I can still pull off some other things. They got Plague Spreader, so I'm not worried about it at all. I'd be like Stardust Dragon. Stardust, you need to make Stardust, bro. You know you want to make Stardust Dragon. I was gonna make Scrap, Crimson Blader. Like I said, I, I don't care about Crimson Blader. That doesn't hurt me at all. Um, that's cool. Let's see what he goes for. Like, I, I'm glad he's using a lot of cards because, like, I just want to get rid of all his back row. Monsters can't really do anything to me, anyways. Stardust. Yes, I knew it. Why did I know he's going for Stardust? Yes. 
Um, he, he also has this effect, so he can still like pull off some stuff, but it's not gonna matter too much. Come on, attack me with everything. End phase. What? This is this is next level. Oh, if I if I get really lucky with a mill, yeah, I can do it. I could I could technically go for game. Why not? Why not go for it, right? <laughs> All right, let's go with uh, quick draw, and then um, this. Yeah, if I set this, then I don't even need quick draw anymore. I mean, I could go with quick draw. Thing is, I just really need to go for. I just need to get another quill bolt. Uh, Giant rat will just let me get another quill bolt out, and I'll be good. So we'll be good. And now he should be attacking. He can't OTK me, at least to my knowledge, he can't. But that, watch that, that that other card is gonna be like torrential. Uh, he duel did a torrential before. He didn't go for it. He hit so many. He used saber hole reinforce. Yeah, I don't think he's got anything. Like, why would you go for Saras and not even attack? Like, I, I don't understand that. That doesn't make sense at all to me. But hey, it's, it's cool. It's cool with me. Attack position, cool ball, hedgehog, come at me. Um, you can kill that thing. Go ahead, please. Go get your your other card. Oh, he doesn't even want the effect. The card has an effect, you know. Oh, he doesn't need it. He's too good. So let's go ahead and um, let's go flip summon this. And hope hope he doesn't have an answer. We'll hope. Um, and we're going to activate the effect of Quibble Hedgehog. And hopefully, guys, I won't run out of time. If I run out of time, um, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> but uh, this is game right here, unless you can stop it somehow. And um, we're just going to go ahead and XYZ for every rank 2 XYZ that we have. And each time we XYZ, we inflict 500 points of damage. So we're going to attribute that. He takes 500. And then we're going to activate the effect of Quibble Hedgehog. Like I said, uh, I hope I don't run out of time. Um, I I'm pretty sure if he had the option, the manly guy, it's Yu-Gi-Oh for real, man. <laughs> so he says it's GG. So um, what actually happens, guys, is you go through all of the cards in your extract. Every card in my extract is a rank two XYZ. And so I have a total of 15. And each time I uh, tribute one to inflict 500 points of damage, he takes a total of 500 damage. So I'll do 15 times 500. So that will be a total of 7,500. And then um, the last card, um, because remember, uh, after I go through all of them, I mean, I can technically just go through another quilt, another two quilt bullets. I can tribute the other tuner that I have. Basically, all that you need on the field is a tuner, and then you need a normal summon this guy. And then from there, you, I mean, you can use this as a tuner also. This is a tuner. Um, but all you need to do is have two, two quilt bullet hedgehogs in the graveyard. You can keep on stacking for plague if you happen to have, you know, the right number of cards. But you can see, um, regardless of, you know, how meta, well, his deck isn't really meta. It's like, old meta but uh, quibble will always there's always some new way to do quibble there's also imperial iron wall that you can do some shenanigans with as well uh that way you don't have to um that way you can keep on tributing the cobalts that way um you wouldn't technically have you can technically run a real extra deck if you want to do it that way uh that way it would probably be i don't know maybe better because um, like I said, I felt like if I was playing Yusei Fudo, man, I could have went for like so many other better plays. He should have attacked me that other turn, but even if he did, I had, what did I have? I had like a, I had a giant rat face down, plague spreader was also face down, he didn't kill that. Um, I could have survived for sure, then I can, next turn I would have set the giant rat, and I probably would have been able to survive uh, anyways, so. I don't think it really mattered how he attacked the other turn, I just wouldn't have been able to special him quick draw. The turn that I didn't even summon quick draw anyway. So you can see, Quillbolt still good, guys. There's still, uh, like I said, there's always going to probably be a way for some Quillbolt, uh, you know, OTK to be involved. Unless they ban Toon Cannon Soldier or Cannon Soldier in general. It doesn't matter. The reason why you play Toon Cannon Soldier, guys, is because he's searchable off of Toon Table. And you can keep on uh, searching for, you know, uh, you know, multiple Toon Tables and deck them as hard as possible. But like I said, guys, this is not my original uh, deck. This is actually a deck idea from someone else. Always giving credit to the uh, people that originally... Uh, make these decks so yeah pretty interesting deck uh you can ftk with this deck so you know it's one of those decks where you know maybe some people will you know ftk with it but uh yeah pretty cool to see x servers i haven't seen them in a while but uh, i really don't understand why he made stars and didn't attack maybe he was perhaps afraid of penguin soldier and he was gonna next turn he was going to make i don't know scrap dragon 
I don't know, he made a little bit of uh, plays that were kind of questionable, I mean. But uh, I think I probably had game even if he attacked me. But anyways, like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Asian Eyes, signing out.